some of the shaping of these spindles for the back of the uh, Windsor rocker. I need a taper. You can see it up here. There's a taper up to the tenon end. This will need to be 3 8 diameter. And I need to taper from this joint of the um, bamboo shape. And I find that it's a little bit faster to remove that material first with the with the draw knife. Works pretty nicely for a taper cut like this. And it reduces the amount of work I need to do with the hand plane or the lathe. So this is a spindle that is roughed out as an octagon shape and I go through several stages of work on it ending up on the on the lathe to make that bamboo shape and the joint the V cuts for the joints Uh, the grain direction is a little bit sensitive to the draw knife, but I seem to be getting away with it here. This will need to be 3 8 of an inch diameter, probably back as far or about, about back in there. So I've got quite a bit of shaping to do to to get to the final three-eighths up here. I guess I can also just move some of these. Nah, the grain direction is going to stop me from fiddling with that. The next thing I do is round it over, take the octagon shapes out with a hand plane, remove the octagon and try to make more of a multifaceted uh, shape. And then after that, I pound it through a, a plate, Lee Nielsen plate, 5 8 to get a nice 5 8 throughout the length of this spindle. And then I can put it on the lathe and do the bamboo shaping. So the next step that I do is is with the hand plane knocking off these edges created by the octagon shape on the bandsaw. And I, if I do enough of this work, then I can pound it through that steel plate and have a that I can shove through the hole in the headstock of the lathe. 